Hotel Travelers, welcome back to the Adventures of a Traveling Don. My name is Benjamin O, and I am here in San Jose, Costa Rica, with, of course, my beautiful friend Natalia Hello. is back, and of course, my new friend Edwin. He is the driver, he is my tour guide today. We are gonna be going across San Jose, Costa Rica, kind of showing you local places to eat, some things to see, uh, maybe the Natural uh, History Museum as well. There's a lot to see in this particular city. I love the city, had a great time here last time I was here, and so far this week that I've been here has been awesome as well. Uh, but anyway, we first gotta, of course, go get something to eat. So, let's go hit up San Jose, Costa Rica. Okay, so the first stop that we're making here is of course something, and this is in downtown. This is at Restaurant Nestra Tierra. This is right across the street from the uh, museum, which we're gonna go to in uh, just a little bit once we're done here. But it's really kind of cool. It's it's somewhat kind of touristy vibe, but it is known as a traditional Tico restaurant. Um, they have traditional Tico food. It, it's really cool looking inside. It's it's decorated fantastically. Uh, just a bunch of like really cool knickknacks all over the place. They seem to have like live music playing almost all the time. Uh, but I mean, what I got here in front of me is fantastic. First, you got my, my watermelon, uh, fresh watermelon juice is just absolutely amazing. And then. And I've got this dish called the Nestra Tierra. So this is like their house dish. Very simple. It's basically their house rice mixed up with thick pork, chicken, and beef all together with some peppers, a little bit of scallions and whatnot, side salad, um, some uh, waffle cut uh, fries, which I really love waffle cuts. But it's really good. Now, don't look at it as that it is that it is like fried rice because it kind of looks like it because it's not obviously it doesn't have soy sauce in it uh, they've got their own kind of like binding sauce together there uh, it definitely does not taste like fried rice but it is absolutely delicious as I can attest to right now oh yeah that is really good Okay, so one of the things I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is the fact that this is actually being shot on New Year's Eve. So this is the last day of 2022, and there's gonna be some things you see in this video that are only specific to New Year's Eve time, and obviously certain things that we can't do, like the uh, museum behind us, the National uh, Museum of Costa Rica, is unfortunately closed because, most likely, because of the holiday. Uh, however, I do highly recommend coming here because yeah, the Museum of National uh, History of Costa Rica is absolutely amazing. It's got a botanical garden inside, a uh, small one, but a nice little one. And then, of course, it also is in a building that used to be part of a fort. And there are still two of the towers that are erected on the backside uh, from when it was the fort back in the uh, uh, the 18, uh, 1800s, late 1800s. So definitely worth a check out. And even if it's closed, this whole kind of like square behind it or in front of it is really nice. So one little neat thing about the towers as well is the fact that they still have uh, a lot of the uh, the bullet casing or the bullet holes uh, that did hit the tower when this fort was attacked during the 1948 Civil War of Costa Rica. Yeah, it's kind of just like a little little monument there that's still left over from, you know, a, a very uh, contentious time, shall we say, in Costa Rica. It kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, if you've ever been to Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, uh, when the Japanese attacked, a lot of those uh, buildings in Pearl Harbor still have those bullet holes. They will not get rid of those. It's just a, kind of a little bit of a memorial um, to what happened on those days. Also, when you are in the vicinity of the uh, the museum, I do highly recommend coming behind it to uh, Calle 17 or Street 17. It's really kind of cool. It's a, just a pedestrian walk uh, for um, several blocks but it's got all of this artwork along the walls and it's just really nicely paved it's a great place to just come walk and just relax but it is right behind on the back side of the front of the museum so Kai 17 just check it out Tampoco 
So if you go north on Calle 17, at the end you're going to come across Parque Nacional, and this is one of the many parks that San Jose has, and that's one of the things I love about San Jose, my first time visiting here and even being here now, is the fact that you can walk throughout the city, and every, you know, half mile or so, uh, you, you find another small little park. Like, they're not massive parks, say like when I did, you know, Chapultepec in uh, Mexico City, but they're nice parks to sit, relax, get some shade, and just kind of enjoy a little bit of nature in the middle of the city. So, highly recommend any of these parks that you see in this video here in San Jose. En la vida un ganador si sabe perder Lo que nunca tuve de chico quiero tener Y ahora que lo tengo todo se siente bien víctima Es que no es mi culpa que no tenga nada Trabaja de noche hasta madrugar Poder mostrarles que si All right, so as you're walking around San Jose, a great spot to come to is Avenida 7 or 7th Street, uh, particularly this building behind me. And there's a little history lesson going on with that. This neighborhood and this building, please tell us, Mr. Edwin. Uh, okay, yeah. This building in front of us was the first uh, building apartments in Costa Rica, and it's called uh, Apartamentos Jimenez. Um, and what does Apartos uh, Jimenez mean? Uh, it's the name of the building. Uh, oh, okay. uh, Jimenez is the, the the last name of the architecture that built build that building. Um, apartamentos is like uh, apartments. So, uh, and this particular neighborhood was the first neighborhood uh, in the north area of San Jose. It's a little the same age as uh, the south side of the San Jose area. But this particular zone is a rich zone in that moment. So. So a little history tidbit for Mr. Edwin there. Definitely, yeah, I mean, coming here, the buildings are absolutely amazing. Like they have the Mexican uh, 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 embassy here. Uh, and of course you run up and down, there's parks, just a lot of nice cafes. What was uh, what was the cafe name, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Natalia? It's not open right now, but what's the cafe that you were talking about? Cafe, Cafe Otoya. Cafe Otoya. And apparently you can get a beer and a glass of boot. So check it out. <laughs> So continuing on from 7th Avenue, you come across these like three concurrent little like parks. So it's like Park España, uh, uh, La Paz Jardin or Garden La Paz, and then of course here at Marazon Park, which is the biggest of the three. But they're basically all lined right next to each other. And it's just a nice, like I said earlier with the parks here in San Jose, it's just a nice place to escape and really, really enjoy yourself and enjoy a beautiful day like this. <laughs> Consciente lo que el coro quiere, pero en mi casa quiero más, más. Si soy exitoso, atrego mujeres. Es por lo que si no por la plata, ni una, una. Oigame, ninguna, que me amó, me traicionó. No tienes ni idea. All right, so if you want the true downtown experience, you got to come to Calle 3 or Avenue 3. And this here, of course, is the center of San Jose. This is where you have the SJO sign. You want to get your picture there. But this is kind of like in the middle. It's got a nice square that's got the theater, and you got pretty much all your shops and restaurants around here. We're actually going to go get some ice cream because it is hot, and I need some really cool right now. So if you're looking for ice cream around Costa Rica, there's a lot of kind of like local joints, but one place that you'll find almost everywhere, um, at least any of the major cities, is a place called Pops. It's a chain restaurant ice cream shop here in Costa Rica, and you've got a few of them uh, in San Jose itself. But uh, the ice cream is fantastic. Like, I've already had it uh, once before. I had the, uh, the cookies and cream. That was really good. And now I got myself a uh, waffle cone bowl with uh, kind of like a, a frutas uh, icing, or ice. Uh, and this uh, doesn't have any milk, it's just ice. But it's got several different fruits kind of mixed into that with a little bit of whipped cream, some nuts on top. It's like, mm. Here we are. That's damn good. Pops, there's a great place to go if you're looking for some ice cream.
como secuestro express. Another spot that you want to check off on your San Jose list is here at the Cathedral. And this is a place that's definitely open on New Year's Eve, like uh, today. So you can definitely go in and check it out. It is beautiful. The artistry uh, all throughout the whole cathedral is absolutely fantastic. The stained glass windows, man, those are some of the best I've ever seen. Just the artwork is fantastic. Uh, but this is the main cathedral here in the center of San Jose, and it is definitely worth checking out. You need a beer and you're in the Central District, come upstairs to this place called P3 uh, Piso Tres. It's basically a third floor pub. You can kind of see like uh, an aerial view of everyone uh, walking the main strips down here. It's actually really cool. But it's you know just a regular bar. You can get a uh, good old beer or a Moscow Mule. So cheers to everybody here. And cheers to you guys. That's a good Marzen. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tour of downtown San Jose. Now we're gonna we back at the house and we are gonna go out in a little bit to go check out some New Year's stuff around San Jose. This is kind of like a unique thing that uh, you can do if you're ever here for the New Year's week. So just give us a minute and we'll see you in just a sec. We're back out and we are here at a festival in Zapote. So this is a festival that happens every year around this time. It's basically from Christmas Day until like the week after uh, New Year's. So you got about two weeks to do it. So we're gonna go check this festival out and of course get some festival food too. <laughs> Dear Jesus, please protect us. <laughs> we may or may, we may or may not die on this. What have you gotten me into, Natalia? This Bond. is this is the ring of fire. Oh dear Lord, here we go. <laughs> and we're going up and back. The ring of fire is barely me. The ring of fire. Why is that big up here? Fucking ring. Excuse my language. <laughs> I mean, so after that ring of fire, just a nice, uh, nice easy little swing about 50 feet up in the air. Nothing wrong with that, right? Oh, yeah! rides is this thing called the drive-in and it's literally just this one big circle bowl with handrails on the back end and you literally just hang on while it there's no seat belts nothing while it just bumps up and down so basically it's like a big attraction because people will try and get up in the middle of it and ride it or people just get thrown it's uh, <laughs> a little dangerous but uh, <laughs> it's a big attraction here
This is one of Costa Rica's. <laughs> a lot of fun. I don't know about that whiplash, but a lot of fun. All right, all that fun excitement with the rides. I need something to eat before I get a little too queasy. So, of course, you're at a uh, festival here. You got to get a churro. Oh, yeah. I go shop. So dish number two is pupusas, which is basically a stuffed tortilla with uh, meat, cheese. Of course, they top it off with a little salad, so. Oh. Another banger right there. Damn good. And dish number three, carne a la pancha, or basically meat on a stick. Got myself just a little bit of steak. It's a fair, it's fair food, you know? Gotta go for it. Try mm. it. Right. I got some juice on me. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Natalia. <laughs> That's really good, though. All right, dish number four. Um, what is this, Natalia? Mangos with sal, lemon, and tahini. So it's called uh, uh, ma mangos locos, it's basically. Locos. So just little bits of uh, mango with tahini on there. Oh, it has a little spice there to it. It is. It's actually really good. So you want to make sure the, like, the sweet and the spicy there. That's fantastic. Okay, so we're going to finish off the food with a little slushy papaya and mango. Cheers to you guys. Oh, this is a great way to end 2022. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so this is the end of the fair. Now we're gonna meet back up with Edwin and we are heading up to the mountains uh, to take off to go see some of the fireworks from the mountainside. So we'll see you guys up on top of the mountain. Okay, so if you're looking to catch the fireworks, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about it. However, the way I'm doing it is something where, honestly, you need a local guide to really help you out with that is because we're up here in the middle of the mountains. I'll be honest with you, I can't even pinpoint where the hell it is because uh, we came up uh, a very long, windy road. Part of it was very, very bumpy. I smacked my head. But <laughs> it will be definitely worth it because we're up here on the mountains where uh, just uh, east of San Jose, in between San Jose and Cartago. And it's kind of cool because I can see both the city of San Jose and the town of Cartago. So I think we might get some double fireworks action today. So sit back and enjoy and a happy new year. What a freaking day and an end to an awesome, awesome year of 2022. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. The, uh, the, the quick little tour of San Jose. Sorry, there wasn't too much more that was in that. Um, could have definitely gone in depth, but I would have had to pick a different day. And of course, this is New Year's Eve. You know, a lot of things weren't open or people were getting prepped. Plus, we also had to get prepped to go to the, to the fair and then get up to the mountains and all that stuff. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed the ride here in this New Year's Eve special edition here in San Jose, Costa Rica. I do hope you guys uh, had a great time with me. I know I did as well. If you have any questions, also leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you give it that big old thumbs up. And then of course, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and I do very, very much appreciate it. And I just want to wish you guys a very, very happy New Year's. I know this video will launch after New Year's, but I hope 2022 is awesome and 2023 has been as great so far for you. Until then, guys, on the next adventure, I will see you then. Peace out and have a great night.